Hi, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In this episode, we're going to cover tapping out the MPT threads on our hot end carriage and up here on our idler mount for our wiring harness tube. So let's get started. Alright, another thing we need to do in preparation for assembly is we need to clear the threads on our hot end carriage and on our stepper mount rear idler bracket. You got threading right here and right here it is printed into part but you want to make sure that it's nice and clean and clear so that you can thread in the couplings that are going to go in there for our 3 8 Bowden tube that's going to feed all of our wiring to this hot end carriage. Now I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up this quarter NPT tap set and does a bunch of other sizes too. It was like $18 I do believe. Not really expensive. Unfortunately I only needed it for one bit. If you happen to have a quarter NPT tap, well then you're in luck. You don't need to go buy anything else. Now we're just going to go ahead and thread it into these. So the thread's already there so it's going to start pretty much on its own. I don't have the large enough piece for that so I just use my pliers and just keep working it back and forth taking my time with it because I don't want to crack this piece of plastic I'm just looking to see when I get bottomed out inside here you can come all the way down to this point. Every once in a while, back it out, clear out the tap, blow out any of the dust. Almost to where I need to be.
And as you can see right there, um, bottomed out on the plastic now, so that's running as far as it can go. Go ahead and test fit that. Now on my building materials, I'm going to tell you to use just a nylon fitting from Lowe's, but I'm building this for Midnight Giant. He wanted something a little fancier, so I went ahead and found some high-performance AN fittings and a high-end hose. You'll get to see it at Murph, but he wanted something that looked a little more fancy. As you can see, it threads in there nice and neat. Now we're going to do the same for this one right here. Threads won't go in quite as far. You can look back in there. It really won't go much further than what it is right now. I'm going to try and take it in just a little bit further, get as much thread cleared as I can. And there we go. Wow, that grabbed tighter than I thought it would. And that completes threading our two pieces for our 3 8 Bowden tube. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for updates. If you'd like to help support this build or our future projects, there is a PayPal me link and an Amazon wishlist link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.